जय हिंद एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर क्लास ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर सो इन दिस क्लास बेसिकली वी विल डिस्कस द इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर्मेट्स इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट क्लासिफिकेशन फॉर द एट जीरो एट फाइव एंड टाइमिंग डायग्राम फॉर द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एज डिस्कस्ड द मेन कंटेंट्स ऑफ दिस लेक्चर विल बी इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर्मेट्स फॉर एट जीरो एट फाइव देन classification of instruction set of 8085 and then finally we will see an example of timing diagram in the 8085 microprocessor so first of all what are instruction formats so basically we know that in the microprocessor we work with the program and program is nothing but it is set of instructions and each instruction has two parts one is opcode and second is operand so every microprocessor will have the opcode that is operation code that is what task is to be performed and then we have operand operand is the data over which operation is to be performed so for specifying the opcode and operands in the instruction we have to follow particular templates so instruction formats are nothing but these are the templates for instructions templates for instructions that is for example 8085 microprocessor is there for the 8085 microprocessor all instructions having the opcode and operands needs to be have a particular format while using the assembly language so these blank formats or blank templates are known as the instruction formats basically instruction formats can be used for converting the assembly language into the corresponding hexadecimal codes and then corresponding the machine code or binary codes so the 8085 microprocessor intel 8085 microprocessor basically has instruction formats in three sizes or three types that is 1 byte one byte instruction second is two byte instruction and third is three byte instruction so accordingly we can say that in the 8085 microprocessor there are three instruction formats in three sizes one is one byte two byte and three byte so what we will have in the first byte instruction the first byte in the instruction format or the for the instruction of 8085 first byte will always be the opcode and this opcode will be of size 1 byte or 8 bit now second case instruction format of 2 byte in the 2 byte we will have first byte as the opcode and second byte will always be data so in the 2 byte size instruction one will be always opcode that is 1 byte second will be data that is also of 8 bit or 1 byte again this data is also 8 bit and third instruction format will be of size 3 byte so in the 3 byte first byte will be opcode and remaining 2 bytes will be the address we know that in the 8085 microprocessor address is 16 bit so for specifying the address in the instruction format we will be requiring 2 bytes let's see some examples these are the examples of instruction format or instructions of 1 byte 
वन बाइट ओनली एज वी हैव स्टडीड दैट द वन बाइट इंस्ट्रक्शन विल ऑलवेज हैव ओनली द ऑफ कोड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंस्ट्रक्शन इज एड बी द साइज ऑफ दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन विल बी ओनली वन बाइट सो वेन एवर दिस ऑफ कोड एड विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू द हेक्स वी विल हैव ए टी एच सो ए टी इज द हेक्स डेसिमल कोड कोरस्पॉन्डिंग टू ऑफ कोड एड ओनली नेक्स्ट इज टू बाइट इंस्ट्रक्शन सो द इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर्मेट फॉर दिस विल बी वन बाइट विल बी फॉर द ऑफ कोड एंड एज वी डिस्कस्ड सेकेंड बाइट विल बी द ओपकेंट ओपरेंट second byte will be the operand okay and operand in the second byte will be usually the data because data is of size 1 byte okay so example is for example here we have used the immediate mvi move immediately accumulator with value 0 to h so in this two byte instruction or two byte instruction of code you will have one byte for the data and one byte for this op code mvi op code so corresponding to this mvi we have hexadecimal code 3e One byte, and this zero to h hexadecimal data of eight bit. Corresponding to that, we have hexadecimal code zero to h. So the total size of the instruction will be two byte. First while byte will be stored, let's say at memory location two thousand, and next byte will be stored at next location at two thousand one. next is three byte instruction so in this case the instruction format will be of size three bytes out of these three bytes first byte will be op code one byte will be op code and the remaining two bytes will be the address because in the 8085 address is usually 16 bit so that can be accommodated in two memory locations let's see an example example is jump 6200h okay so this is the example of branch or transfer of control instruction where the execution control is to be transferred using this address so in this case One byte will be for this op code. One byte. One byte will be for corresponding to this sixty-two. And one byte will be corresponding to this zero zero. Okay, so two byte for address sixty-two hundred and one byte for op code jump. So when corresponding hexadecimal conversion will be there jump will be converted into 63 this 00 will be 00h and 62 will be 62h and as the size of this instruction or instruction format is 3 byte so these will be stored at three consecutive locations 2000 2001 and 2000 basically these are memory locations okay next is addressing modes basically in the instruction as we have studied previously every instruction will have op code and op rent 
सो हाउ ऑपरेंट्स आर स्पेसिफाइड इन एन इंस्ट्रक्शन और हाउ ए माइक्रो प्रोसेसर कैन असेस डेटा इज नोन एज एड्रेसिंग मोड बेसिकली वी कैन से दैट वी कैन प्रोवाइड डेटा टू द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर थ्रू द इंस्ट्रक्शन इन वेरियस फॉर्म्स और वेरियस मोड्स दीज आर नोन एज एड्रेसिंग मोड्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल डेटा ओवर विच ऑपरेशन इज टू बी परफॉर्म्ड दैट मे बी डायरेक्टली अवेलेबल इन द इंस्ट्रक्शन इट सेल्फ दिस इज नोन एज इमीडिएट एड्रेसिंग डेटा ओवर विच ऑपरेशन इज टू बी परफॉर्म्ड दैट मे बी स्पेसिफाइड थ्रू ए रजिस्टर डेटा ओवर विच ऑपरेशन इज टू बी परफॉर्म्ड इट्स एड्रेस मे बी स्पेसिफाइड थ्रू द रजिस्टर और डेटा ओवर विच ऑपरेशन इज टू बी परफॉर्म्ड दैट मे बी अवेलेबल इन द एक्यूमुलेटर इट सेल्फ सो देर आर डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ स्पेसिफाइंग द डेटा और ओपरेंट इन द इंस्ट्रक्शन दीज डिफरेंट वेज आर नोन एज द एड्रेसिंग मोड्स सो हेयर आई एम डिस्कसिंग द सम इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एड्रेसिंग मोड्स ऑफ एट जीरो एट फाइव सो फर्स्ट इज इमीडिएट एड्रेसिंग मोड इन द इमीडिएट एड्रेसिंग मोड द डेटा ओवर विच ऑपरेशन इज टू बी परफॉर्म्ड इज available in the instruction or is part of instruction itself so here we can see one example mvi b 45 so this 8 bit data 45 is to be transferred or copied into the register b so data over which operation is to be performed that data is 45h and this is available in the instruction itself so it is immediately available in the instruction so this type of addressing is known as the immediate addressing mode next type is register addressing mode in this case the data over which operation is to be performed or operate operand is specified through a register in the instruction okay therefore the operation is performed between various registers in the microprocessor for example we can see that two examples move a comma b so data available in the register b is to be transferred in the accumulator so operand is specified through the registers another example is add b so one operand is available in the accumulator because it's an arithmetic operation so second operand is specified through the register b so this type of addressing is known as the register addressing mode next is direct addressing mode in this case the address of the operand is part of the instruction itself okay so data over which operation is to be performed its address will be directly specified in the instruction for example STA two five zero zero H. That is, store the content of accumulator at the specified address. Another example is LDA load accumulator twenty five hundred H. Okay, that is data available at this address is to be transferred into the accumulator so data over which operation is to be performed its address is part of instruction this is direct addressing mode another example is input port instruction in 05h that is data available at this input port address this is input port address so data is available at the input port so address of this input port is specified in the instruction and now the data available at this address is to be transferred into the accumulator this type of addressing is known as the direct addressing mode next is register indirect addressing so in this case the data to be operated is available inside the memory location and that memory location is indirectly specified by a register pair we know that for the addressing 
and through the register pair we generally use the hl register pair because hl register pair is used as the memory pointer as the memory pointer register okay this is the example example is move a comma m that is content available at this memory are to be transferred into the accumulator now the address of this memory location is specified indirectly through the register pair and that register pair is hl pair so before using this memory we have to initialize this register pair hl so we can use the instruction for example lxi h 2500 so hl register pair is initialized with address 2500 then we can use the instruction for example here move a comma m so m is the address of memory location so that is address is pointed out is 2500 address and this is pointed out indirectly by the register pair hl this type of addressing is known as the register indirect addressing mode another addressing mode is known as the implied or implicit addressing mode in the implied or implicit addressing mode the data over which operation is to be performed that is operand is available in the accumulator okay so we have to we no, need not to go anywhere else so in the implied or implicit addressing mode operand or data over which operation is to be performed is in accumulator itself so data is perform uh, operation is performed over the data available in the accumulator itself examples are for example cma that is complement the accumulator that is content of the accumulator are complemented that is 0 will be replaced by 1 and 1 is replaced by 0 so this is one example another example is ral that is rotate accumulator left so the content or data available in the accumulator is performed the rotation operation of by the one bit position in the left next is classification of instruction set of 8085 basically the instructions of 8085 microprocessor can be mainly classified into five categories first is data transfer instruction which are used for transferring data okay for example instruction is in 05h this is data transfer instruction another example is move a comma b another example is arithmetic arithmetic instructions arithmetic instructions are used for performing the arithmetic operations over the two data and in the arithmetic and logical instructions it is the condition that one of the operand must be in the accumulator so we need to specify only the second operand so for example arithmetic instruction is add b that is content of accumulator are added with the content of register b and result is stored in the accumulator okay another example can be add immediately 05h so the immediate data 05 is added with the content of accumulator and result is stored in the accumulator next is logical instructions logical instructions are used for performing the logical operations 
such as and or xor and comparison etc so we can use for example compare b okay so the content of accumulator are compared with the content of register b and depending upon whether this a is greater than b then we will have carry flag equal to 0 and if we have a less than b then we will have carry flag equal to 1 if we have a great a equal to b then we have zero flag will be set to indicate that both numbers are equal so logical operations can be used for example xor b okay xra a content of accumulator are exored with itself so basically this will make the content of accumulator zero then we can use the branch instructions or transfer of control instructions branch instructions basically transfer the execution control from the current address to the specified address for example these are the case of jump call return okay example is jump 6200h these branch instruction may be conditional or unconditional that is jump to specified address only when certain condition is satisfied that is conditional and it is if without condition that is unconditional so this is the example of unconditional another example of conditional can be jc 6200h in this case jump will be performed only if carry flag is set jc means jump if carry that is carry flag equal to 1 jump to specified address only when the carry flag is set so in this case we have conditional and unconditional then we have control instructions these control the execution or microprocessor operation examples can be for example no operation halt that is HLT EI enable interrupt DI disable interrupt and rim and sim instructions etc these are used to control the execution of the microprocessor for example enabling and disabling for the interrupt without performing any operation we have to execute some instruction nop generally used for providing the delay halt for stopping the program execution after that there will be no instruction executed then rim and sim instruction these are used for serial input data and serial output data case transfer for serial communication next is timing diagram okay timing diagram is nothing but it is the graphical method graphical method for showing the operation of the microprocessor in terms of signal that is we have to use some signals or pins some pins may be high and some pins may be low at with respect to clock when the signal is high or when it is low that may be show in the form of some graph this graph graphical representation is known as the timing diagram because these represent graphical representation is with respect to the microprocessor system clock so for dealing with the times in the case of microprocessor generally we use three terms t state machine cycle and instruction cycle 
so basically t state is the time reference to one clock time corresponding to the one cycle or one period of the system clock it is the minimum time value that can be used in this any microprocessor so let's say the clock frequency is 5 megahertz so time correspond time will be 1 upon frequency so time will be corresponding to 1 upon 5 megahertz that is 0.2 microsecond so time period corresponding to one cycle of the clock signal is known as the t state next is machine cycle basically microprocessor performs some basic operations such as a read operation memory read or memory write or a io operation io read or io write so performing these basic operations microprocessor requires some time that time is generally represented in terms of t states so a few t states let's say 3 3 to 5 t states may be required for performing some basic operations and these operations are the machine cycles okay next is instruction cycle basically time is required for execution of the complete instruction we know that in the instruction it is executed in three steps fetch decode and execute okay so time may be required for fetching and then decoding and execution so the fetch time is known as fetch cycle and decode and execution cycle is known as the execution cycle so time required for the complete execution of the instruction is known as instruction cycle so instruction cycle is basically nothing but it is the fetch cycle plus execution cycle and instruction cycle may be in terms of machine cycle that is few machine cycles will make the instruction cycle let's see an example suppose we have to perform the opcode fetch operation so we will require this signal status lines read so these is the status of these signals so these signals may be shown with respect to the system clock in the form of a graph and that graph is known as the timing diagram let's see an example this is the example here we have the system clock then we have the corresponding io oblique m and status lines these are for the corresponding opcode fetch machine cycle as shown in the previous slide so here during t1 we will have the higher address during t1 we will have the address and during t2 and t3 we will have the data and ale for address latch enable during t1 this will be high and as we have to perform the read operation so for the read operation rd bar is there so rd should be zero so whenever there will be data the read should be low so this is one timing diagram for the opcode fetch operation thank you all of you jai